Okay, dear student, let us see what is there in this question. A capacitor of capacitance C has initial charge Q. The capacitor is discharged through the resistance R. The potential difference V across the capacitor varies with the time. Uh, what is true for this capacitor? So, my dear students, um, a simple question about uh, discharging of a capacitor through a resistance R, and we would be using the transient uh, formulas here so we can say that the q value will be equal to q e raised to power negative t by rc similar is the variation for the current so it's exactly the same and exactly the same is the variation for potential difference across the capacitors the rc factor is known as time constant which is written by tau yeah so tau is equal to rc so this is what is going to happen and all of the variations uh, they are following the exponential decay like this. So every uh, uh, variable is following this pattern to decrease. Anyways, let us now go for the options. What is true for this capacitor? After the time R by 2C, the potential difference is halved. So my dear students, first of all, R by 2C is not anything. Like RC is the time constant, like um, uh, here tau. So R by 2C is not anything. So in the first place, like when, when you read R by 2C, clearly it means that A option is wrong. But he's talking about the potential difference to become half. So let me talk about the half-life here. So half-life is the same for all of the variations because they are varying with the exponential and the, even the exponent for the exponential is the same. So we can say that half-life will be same for Q, I as well as for V, all of them. And what that will be. Let us say the current is becoming half. So this is 1 by 2 and so e raised to power positive uh, t divided by rc will be equal to 2. I just cross multiply that and then we can take log on both sides. So t divided by rc is equal to ln2. Clearly the half time period is given by rc into ln2 or tau ln2. This is the half life but they are talking about the time this. So this is clearly wrong. It is not this, like tau is RC. So RC ln2 is the correct answer. So A option is wrong. The capacitor discharges more quickly when the resistance is changed to 2R. So if the resistance is changed to 2R, so the half-life is becoming double. Clearly, the formula is in front of you. So it is not getting discharged at a faster pace. It means it is discharging at a lower pace. If you are increasing the resistance, it is taking double the time to become half. So even B is wrong. See, the rate of change of charge on the capacitor is proportional to V. Well, clearly we can say that because all of these variations are the same. Q, I and V, definitely we can say they are proportional to each other. More is the Q, more will be the current, more will be the V. Because they are actually dependent on time. And as the time increases, all of them are having the same variation. They are decreasing. So C can be taken as a correct answer although there i don't see that there is a, any direct relation between them but graphically we can say that they are definitely directly proportional to each other d the time of the capacitor to lose half its charge is ln2 divided by rc no my dear students half life is given by this and this is same for the charge for current as well as for the potential so this much is the time required for charge to become half, for current to become half, as well as for the potential difference to become half. So even D is the wrong answer. And so clearly C is the correct option. So this is how we do this question. And I'm going to show you the mark scheme also for this. Let us see what is the answer given in the mark scheme. Clearly the answer is C. So this is how we do this question, my dear students. So this is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and also please Join the YouTube channel if you want to access the paper 2 questions. All the best. Bye.